cool right then. Yeah, Unity new input system sometimes can be very difficult to work with. So yeah, I'm just trying to implement something very simple, but it turns out to be quite challenging. So I'm putting up a video to show uh, the problem I'm trying to deal with. Uh, basically, right, uh, let's start with how it, how it, how it's working. All right, okay, so I've got my game. I can control my character, and then I also have the pause menu. And in order to make sure I can control the character, jump, shooting, and so on, and then also having this pause menu working, it's actually very very challenging especially we need to make sure it works with controllers and also keyboard and when you have multiple players basically multiple players they share the same menu so both of them can control up and down they can resume as well they can pause they can resume they share the same screen they share the same canvas while when they are in the game right basically like so they need to be uh, uh, running individually, right? So now when I have this menu like so, uh, I, can, I can control, yeah? So uh, it's just very, very difficult to get it to work like so, okay? So let me just uh, stop the game now. In order to make it to work, uh, Unity offers you the uh, new input system. Uh, but basically, you need to assign a, a player, a player game object, a prefab to the input system. So let me just show the uh, game manager that I have over here. So the game manager has this player prefab. I use script to set this object. So uh, let's don't worry about that. But just make, uh, just try to imagine. This will have this uh, player object set into here. Right? So in terms of this player object, it has to uh, have this uh, player input uh, script attached to it. Right? So then you can define your behavior like this player uh, can can basically like when you when you uh, hit a certain button, it fires a particular function coming from the uh, controller that you create in your script. Right, so then at the time you launch the menu, you also want to, if you want to also use the uh, player input, the new input system to handle the moving and the firing and so on and, 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 and like basically confirm and cancel. It's actually very difficult because if you press up and down on a controller, you wouldn't be able to move if you set it to What's that called? Context static, right? So uh, if you set it to context static, let me let me show you the code. So if you set it to context static, then basically gamepad doesn't work with that. You pretty much uh, wouldn't detect any movement. So if you want to try to move up and down on the buttons, it doesn't work. However, if you don't set it to context static, then when you press down on a keyboard, for, uh, for example, then it moves down multiple times because uh, context has static, has all sorts of other uh, behavior that will trigger the actual event to occur. So basically, it will run your function multiple times. So you press down once and it moves three times, for example. So then there is a bit of contradiction in between gamepad and keyboard. So if you set it to context static, it works for keyboard, but it doesn't work for uh, uh, for gamepad. So that's why, that is why the new input system using player input like so to handle the menu is extremely difficult to work with. So then I realized in order to get it to work, I have to use the uh, player input like so to control the character only. And in order to make sure the menu works, I need to use something called, let's go back over here. I need to use something called like a event system. So event system 
is Unity's default UI handling mechanism to control menus. So uh, what I have over here is to start with setting this event system to be disabled. And at the time the menu is paused, the game is paused, I stop all the behaviors on this object, on this player input. When there's something triggered, I just, uh, I just return, I just don't, uh, don't do anything. And then at that particular point, I sort of like make this object activated, if that makes any sense at all. So uh, just to show you how the code works, basically when somebody hits the pause menu, right, so, uh, so that would be over here. So when you hit the pause menu, when you hit the pause button, which is map in one of those events, right? So if I come back over here, when I hit the particular button, it causes this function to pause it, to pause the game, okay? So then, when we pause the game, I have this function implemented, which is over here. So I stop the uh, stop the music and so on, and then I uh, created something to uh, make sure I can have a control state to tell uh, whether the game is paused or not. Okay, so then I later on make use of that uh, somewhere, but I'll show you later. Okay, so at that particular point, uh, to start with, uh, I'm setting the uh, event system to be active, and then afterwards. Uh, I create the uh, the menu by running running that okay. So this is instanti uh, instantiating the uh, the menu as a game object. Uh, where do, uh, where I stop using it, I just delete that so that it's gone from the screen, right? So the menu is created at this particular point, and very important, it has to be created after the event system is activated. Otherwise, the event system wouldn't be able to navigate the menu, okay? Uh, so that's when the menu is created, okay? So creating the menu and, and then basically setting the control state to be in-game pause, okay? So that's very important because uh, uh, after I set that, I have a function over here uh, can control character, but uh, basically internally, right? It's just uh, checking whether the uh, uh, the the system is paused, and this is just making use of this particular uh, value. Okay. So when the game is paused, when I stop moving the character using this player controller, which is the uh, the prefab. Uh, that controls the character, then at this point it just returns, it stops the movement, it stops the movement, okay? While on the other hand, when the system is running, when the game is playing, then the, uh, the pause menu is not available, so then it will just do this one thing, which is moving the character, okay? So then, after the game is paused, at the time you navigate the menu, uh, Unity, uh, Unity uh, 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 event system will be able to sort of like handle moving the buttons and so on. So uh, one thing that I needed to set up was over here, making sure that to start with, the, uh, the, the, the first button to be selected is the, uh, you need to uh, make sure the UI selects one button to start with. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, that's how, how you set up the uh, menu. And at the time, I'm trying to unpause the game. Basically, I'm just destroying this pause menu, uh, pause menu controller game object, okay? So the whole menu is deleted at that particular point. So uh, one other thing which is very important uh, that is when your menu, post menu is open, the, uh, 
the game is supposed to be stopped. Okay, so you you have your background to stop the players and so on, which is by doing something like this. Okay, basically uh, time scale you just set that to zero, and it stops the game. But when you stop the game, this controller wouldn't be able to run the update function. So make sure all of the behavior wouldn't be written in the update function. The update function because uh, it only works when when time is not stopped. If that makes sense. So then at that particular point, you control the menu uh, without having the background having uh, sort of like moving characters and so on. So that's the uh, the menu part. And then when you unpause, then basically you set time uh, time scale back to one again. Okay. So yeah, that sort of solves the problem related to having uh, having two sides working together. One other thing that uh, I needed to set up is basically two control uh, control schemes. Okay. So let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, in the inputs, I've got the control scheme over here that's already open on this side. When I'm in the game. When the character is in the game, we have all of these behaviors, and then there is there is another set, and we need to set this up because the uh, event system needs these several things to be set up over here. So basically, you have one set which is to handle the character movement inside the game, and another set over here which is tied to the input event system so that you can have the navigation and the uh, submission and the cancelling working in the menu when you interact with this menu having multiple players handling uh, interacting with the same uh, event system at that particular point okay so let's see what else is missing yeah so we've got unpause we've got controlling the uh, pause menu uh, and then we've got the uh, pause menu and to pause and that uh, and yeah so that's basically how it works uh, in order to make sure you've got the pause menu uh, which can be controlled by multiple uh, players and you also have individual players having their own uh, game object uh, to be controlled in the system